Scene two, take one, turkey basting. This is turkey basting, everybody. I hope you got that. Turkey <laughs> basting. Hi, I'm Genevieve Coase, senior editor at the New York Times, and I'm here with Padma Lakshmi. Hello. The author, activist, and of course, the host of Taste the Nation and Top Chef. And today, we're lucky enough to have her here in our New York Times studio kitchen to show us how she makes her Thanksgiving turkey. Padma, you're such an accomplished cook, and you have so many amazing flavors and seasonings in all of your food. I'd love to hear more about how you came up with this turkey recipe. You know, it was honestly just whatever I had in my pantry or in my fridge drawer at the time. <laughs> I didn't grow up cooking meat, and then when I started cooking um, my own turkey, I just experimented over the years. This is a very simple recipe, which has worked for me and is really easy to do. The, the trick is in the brining in buttermilk, which yeah. has more enzymes, and I season that buttermilk, but it's also just a very low and slow roasted turkey. Also because it fits my life, yeah. you know, I don't, I want the oven space to sure. cook all the other things for Thanksgiving I love yeah. making. I actually cook this overnight, very, very slowly. Very late I start it, and then I get up very <laughs> early, but okay. And I've made a lot of turkeys, but this is by far one of the most delicious I've ever had. Thank you. You managed to get the meat so juicy and tender and flavorful, but also we're gonna make your gravy at the end with all of the fruits and vegetables that you put in the pan and it comes out as this delicious apple gravy and it's just so unique and so well spiced. I love gravy, I love it on stuffing. I make a ton extra for turkey pot pie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it does make a lot of gravy, which is perfect, yeah. which is delicious. And, and that's what it is, yeah. it's, it's, you know, to, to save the pan drippings and do it is great, yeah. but when you have fruit that's breaking down, it gives your, gravy, a lot of body and a yes. lot of flavor. Yes. We love a flavorful turkey. Yeah, so many great flavors we have going on. It's really delicious. Are you ready to get started? Let's sure. get cooking. Sure, let's go. All right. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're gonna do yep. is we're going to roast the peppercorns. I have some whole peppercorns here, just under a quarter cup, okay? When you use whole spices, it's nice to heat it up so that the oils get released within side mm. the pod or seed yeah. or peppercorn. Um, that is what's gonna give you the flavor. You're gonna start to yeah. smell it in a second. And just put it in a mortar and pestle there. So you're just gonna break it up. You don't have to be precious about this. That's so that the oils will get into right. our, our soap. Perfect. So I'm using about that much, <laughs> whatever the heck that is. Then we're Perfect. using some bay leaves. And, and these are fresh ones, right? They're, they're fresh bay leaves. Yeah. I prefer fresh bay leaves. And I'm just, again, ripping them to release the natural oil in the bay leaf. And then I like to use, of course, sea salt and sugar. So I think it's so interesting that you add sugar to your brine too. What is the reasoning for that? I do, because it makes the meat juicier and sweeter yeah. and it complements the apples and it balances yeah. the salt. And that's all that's going in your brine. Perfect. And then we're Maybe using, start getting this one yes, here. buttermilk. buttermilk. Mm, I like buttermilk. If you can find non-homogenized buttermilk, even better, like at your farmer's markets. If you can't, don't worry. So you just want to stir this. Now, I'm being really elegant for you <laughs> New York Times people, but I have to be honest, in my house, I would roll up my sleeve and do this with my hand because cooking with your hands as much as possible gives you a uh, sensorial, tactile mm -hmm. relationship with your food. Yeah. It also gives you, in, your fingertips will give you information that this whisk may not. For instance, you can feel when the grains of salt are um, dissolving, are dissolving yeah. in the buttermilk. And then, you know, to be honest, you can get one of these fancy, um, brining bags, which are great. You can also use a clean trash bag that is not deodorized <laughs> or fragrance or you know anything right. like that. Right. So we're just going to pour. Oh, did I miss? No, no, Let's I'm see. just making sure I have a handle right. on the back of it. You can use this right? part, but you can also just twist this and spin it. And then here's the important part. You can do it in any big pot, like a pasta pot. And it's really important that it be wide enough, of course, to fit the turkey, but not so wide that the turkey's on its side because it's, it's the legs that need tenderizing the most. 
and just let that lovely bird swim in all the, you know, it's like getting a full body moisture <laughs> mask for that bird. Now we're going to prepare our pan yep. for roasting. So again, we're going to roast some additional peppercorns. And what is it about black peppercorns? They bring a little heat, obviously, but what is it about their flavor that you really like? It's different than a chili pepper. Mm -hmm. It adds depth and it balances the, the fruit that we're going mm -hmm. to add. That's why I like black pepper. I always like to layer both chili peppers and black pepper, but mm -hmm. I find that black pepper has a different quality. So we're going to lay in our roasting pan Granny Smith apple, which gives it a little bit of tartness, and I also use Fuji or Honey Crisp because they're sweeter. And so you just want to put a bed of apples down. And that's actually something that I think is pretty unique. So what is it that inspired you to actually roast the turkey on a bed of fruit and vegetables? I wanted those sugars in the fruit to break down slowly. I wanted them mm -hmm. to commingle with the pan drippings mm -hmm. that are coming yeah. off of the bird. By the way, what I'm going to stuff the turkey with is also what I normally stuff my roast chicken with. It's not oh, much nice. different. I also would love to know how you decided to add fennel, because it's such a unique flavor. I love the anise flavor it imparts, mm -hmm. but I didn't want to add fennel seed um, yeah. or anything else to then right. take it into a, another direction. Right, right, and, right. But fennel is a beautiful, gentle way that is present in many cultures. Mm -hmm. And then ginger, yeah. yes, of course. So we're going to use half of the ginger as a bed and half inside to perfume the cavity. And then I'm just using some stems of fresh thyme. Look how pretty. Wouldn't you want us to take a nap in that? Yeah, so turkey? now we're going to drain the turkey. Right. Yes? Let's do it. So Padma, do you have any tips for people who don't have huge sinks? <laughs> yes, you can do this in your bathtub. Wow, okay. <laughs> Listen, there, there were times when I was filming Top Chef. Yeah. And I was traveling with my daughter, and I didn't yeah. want her to have room service all the time. So I would make a makeshift uh, kitchen with a hot plate in some hotels. <laughs> there are some very famous hotels across the country that have stunk like curry. <laughs> 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 so we were cooking in the bathroom. <laughs> and I, you know, the, the bathroom sink is too small, so we would just wash the pasta pot if we. Oh make, my God, that's amazing. You know, because I wanted to, yeah. I wanted her to have wholesome food. Sure. <laughs> okay. So right. there is no graceful way to do this and you want to take some paper towels and just pat her a little bit dry. All right so now we're ready to stuff the bird. Let's okay yes. This is also um, an incredibly special sensorial experience. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. We're going to trust the bird. Sounds good. And we're going to lift. And then we're going to take it like so. And we're going to put it around the middle of the body. Lay it down. Okay. Okay, so you want to bring it around the joint where the leg meets the body. And then you're going to wrap it like this around the ankle. And I would even say you can do it twice. Just for okay. good measure, tight. Do you want the legs crisp? Yes, 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 thank you. You do need a buddy. You do need a buddy, yeah. And just seal it like that. And you can even go around if you want. Ta-da! And I'm just nestling her in her little beautiful bed. I'm gonna give her a nice little final massage. You can, if you want to, put butter under the skin, okay? That's the thing a lot of people like to do. Um, I don't think this bird needs it, but I, there's been years where we've had people helping me in the kitchen who feel like they want that. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you, you know who you, you are? <laughs> um, but I don't care, it's fine. They've done it, it's been great with it, it's been great without yeah. it. I'll let you Amazing. do what's right for your family. I'm gonna wash my hands yep. again. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna throw this in. <laughs> Let's go in. So we have this oven super hot. The rack's on the bottom, yep. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so your workout? Yes, definitely. Always bend. bend. <laughs> Use your knees. It's important to squat when you lift heavily like that. Okay, 
So we're going to bake this at a high heat at about 450. We're going to blast her for 20 or 30 minutes so she gets a nice tan. Again, that buttermilk will cause her skin to be splotchy, but what she lacks in outward beauty, she will gain in inner depth of flavor. <laughs>
to cook this whole turkey with us, to have a whole Thanksgiving feast for us, for sharing your turkey recipe with us. I hope you have such a happy Thanksgiving holiday. You too. Thank you for asking me to come do this. Oh, of course. That's yummy. That's really good.